Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. My name is Allie. If you're new to my channel, I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. All right, so for today's video, I have an extreme clean with me. And as you guys know, if you have been here for a while, I've watched any of my clean with me's, I start in the living room and work my way to the back of the house just because of the way that the, lay the layout of the house is. And you guys will see that as we're cleaning. And so I was like, you know what? My house has not been deep, deep cleaned in a while. So I mean, I went in, we rearranged the living room, we vacuumed under those couches. And does anybody else feel like you do an amazing job at cleaning your house until you move a piece of furniture? Because I always think that and then I move a piece of furniture and I'm like, what have I been doing with my life? Not cleaning, I know that. But yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get this living room all wrapped up and rearranged. And I actually really like how it turned out. Dancing closely together and staying forever young. What about you and I then? Can we too find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. Mm. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance.
best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep So once we're done with the living room, we go to the dining slash kitchen area. We really don't have a dining room. It's just kind of one big open space. And I didn't realize till earlier in the summer that there's a light right where the table's at. And I never had the table there. And I always wondered what that light was there for. And then I was like, oh, this is where your table goes. So that's why I moved my table there. And so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and clean, you know, like do regular stuff for the kitchen and the dining area. I did need to wash the tablecloth, so that's why I took it off. And we're just gonna really give the t chairs and the table a really good wipe down. Where did it end? Hanging on those strings. Unable to bend, I never listened. Trying to prove it, just like the movies. I was gonna say. So now that we kind of moved the dining room table around, I did go ahead and head into the kitchen and as you can see on the counter, I have some dishes I need to put up and specifically for this clean with me, I did go ahead and go buy a mop and a bucket because I was watching a TikTok and it was a lady that cleans houses, like she has her own cleaning business and she was saying how the people that she cleans for told her that they use a um, Swiffer every single day but she did boiling, just only boiling water and a mop and there was so much dirt and I use a Swiffer like every day so I was like okay I need to go buy a mop and that's what I ended up mopping with but here in the beginning you can just see me kind of organizing everything putting um just putting up groceries refilling containers and we will even get into reorganizing the refrigerator because I saw a reel that my friend sent me about sticking your condiments in the drawer instead of your produce so that way you can see your produce every day like put your produce on the door and put your condiments in the produce drawers so that way you know condiments last forever but produce dies really fast so to stick your produce on the door so that way you can see it every day. The conversation flows a couple of hours, see how it goes. I really trust my senses, catch me if I fall. So done with second guessing, you seem to have it all. In love enough for anything, emotional too soon. You got my invitation, now the rest is up to you. Make some time for me and you Get you over, treat you right We vibing like uh-huh Kick uh -huh. rendezvous Make some time for me and you Get together, you and I We vibing like Take it rendezvous, make some time 
Okay, so now that the counters are cleaned and floors are swept, we are going to go ahead and get into mopping. And you guys, I kid you not, at that water was dang near black whenever I poured it out. And mind you, like I said, I would use a Swiffer like every single night. So I think I'm going to have to mop this way at least once a week instead of just spot mopping with the Swiffer or just completely mopping with the Swiffer. And also, I again worked my way from the front of the house to the back of the house even all the way down the hallway because as you will see right now we have a really long hallway so I kind of just worked my way down the hallway as I cleaned the room along the way Okay, so on this morning, I actually had a load of laundry in the dryer, and I only took it out because I filmed this on Monday, and Mondays are my laundry day, so I needed to empty out the dryer. Ethan had some clothes in there for whenever he went to spend as a weekend with his dad, and just some towels and stuff that I washed along with it, because I don't believe in wasting a load of, I guess, washer water. <laughs> and so, yeah, so I'm going to fold this, and then I'm just going to start stripping all of the beds in the guest room and the boys' room because it was really really time for those bed sheets to be washed and you know we're just going to do the basics wipe down the furniture vacuum and then like i said we're stripping the beds to get those comforters and sheets and pillowcases washed we can pretend the time is still stay in the daydream chase the thrill make up the When the lights out Okay, so everything I do in the boys' bathroom, which is what I'm currently cleaning right now, I did in my bathroom. And of course, my camera ran out of storage, so it stopped recording before I could record myself use the bathroom. But you know what? If you see me clean one bathroom, you see me clean them all. So yeah, I'd like, I am using two different towels, one for the sink and the shower, and then one towel specifically for the toilet. Just wanted to put that out there. I'm not cleaning everything with the same towel I clean the toilet with, because even though I'm cleaning it, it feels dirty to me to use the same towel. So yeah, wiping down the mirror, wiping down the sink, uh, the little vanity area, the shower, cleaning the toilet, of course, and then we are going to sweep and mop in here as well.
and then like I said, just working my way down the hallway with cleaning the floors. I have this rug here for whenever the boys come in from the backyard from playing outside. I prefer for stickers to get stuck on this rug before they track them in the house or just mud and dirt. And then I will clean that rug every single night. And then I'm just vacuuming up like some little crumbs that you know that dustpan does not like to let you get in it. And then again, I'm just working my way back down the hallway to go ahead and mop the floors. Ooh, and now the most fun part my boys room so again like I said I'm just getting some of their shoes and I'm just chunking them in the closet for right now honestly and right here I'm stripping the beds but I forgot to adjust the camera but I'll adjust it just here in a second so that way you can see me finish um, stripping them and then right after that I did go ahead and get down onto the floor and we are going to declutter their toys declutter their bookshelf with their coloring books their crowns their pencils and their puzzles and just get everything straightened up and when I say declutter I threw away any toy that was broken any toy that was missing a piece or like it had two parts or whatever the case was so yeah we're just gonna declutter their toys and then after we did the toys we straightened up the closet and then we're gonna vacuum the room And as you can see, I tried to fix the toys that are broken just so that way they can keep them. But I also just declutter because I do not believe in buying bigger or more toy bins. Like that little bin right there that you see me putting the toys in, like that's all they got. They have a few boxes or bins of blocks up at the top of their closet, but I only pull them out whenever they ask for them. And then the little box right there is actually a stem box so they can build little robots. And I just went ahead and stuck their tools in there. So that way they can pretend like they're building with tools and stuff. But yeah, I do not believe in buying more storage for more toys because I feel like that creates more clutter. I will just declutter.
Okay, so after that, we did go ahead and go to my room, which is the last room on the house, as well as the bathroom. So I did go ahead and decide to rearrange, and like I said, this day was laundry day, so that's why you see the three baskets of clothes that I need to fold and put away. I just chunked it off to the side because I'm actually going to rearrange my room too, and I'm not moving every single piece of furniture. I'm just flip-flopping the walls with the bed and the TV on them, and then my camera dies before i can finish not dies it runs out of storage before i can even finish filming but um you will see how it looks at the end Okay, so believe it or not, this was actually a two-day process. That's why I'm in completely different clothes. So the boys' blankets and stuff actually didn't get 
of sheets and stuff actually didn't finish getting washed until the next day but don't worry they had blankets to sleep with you guys they just didn't have pillowcases or sheets but i mean that's okay i'm putting them on right now and this entire cleaning video was four hours long i am surprised i got it down to 30 minutes but yeah that's why i ended up running out of storage so before i could even record me fixing this these beds and then the bed in the guest room i had to import the footage onto my computer and then delete it off of my camera and then record this part and that's another reason it was a two-day process Okay, this is actually still the same day. I just ended up changing my shirt because I was filming. And so, yeah, we are going to go ahead and just fix the guest bedroom.
right you guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed the way everything came out as much as i did it was such a blast to clean and i actually did record this as a workout in my phone as mixed cardio and i burned over 2,000 calories rearranging and cleaning my entire house like this so i love you guys but always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video guys Mwah. Thank you.